Hello everybody, this is Jay here with you, and welcome back into Need for Speed No Limits. Yes guys, I said eventually we are going to get back inside of this, and today's episode is just going to give you some more tips on how to win. I'm going to, uh, there's no event until, I believe, the 9th of June, which is upcoming. Okay, we got a street, um, nitro, which is pretty much useless, because all my street cars are completed. So... Let's just go to the garage and give you a little look of what's been going on. I've finished up all the colors on cars. I've upgraded some cars here, as you can see. Looking nice, looking nice, yep. And, yeah, we got those there, we got this there. And my new ride up coming right there, the Ford GT 2017, that's pretty nice. Yeah, so I gave all my cars a new kind of look. So yeah, that's a look at all the cars. Now, let's go to Tuner Trials. So, Saturday. Okay, we can worry about that after. I'm just basically going to show you how to win a race simply. And events, there, I would, it says easy, but I believe each race is around medium to hard. So, I'm going to find a race where it's kind of like medium or hard for me. Okay, so, let's go with the Lamborghini Diablo for this race. And it seems I got all the parts. Oh, right there. We need that. So, we'll go here. Go to 15. Right here, rush hour. And as you can see... 7767. Oh, so the Diablo is easy. We want to go with a car that's hard or medium. What's up? Let's do medium because I said average, it's medium to hard to extreme. Those are the three kinds of events. The first two days are a medium, I would say. The next three are hard, and the final two are extreme. So this is a medium race, I'll show you what it's all about. So what you do is you drift one side to the other side and you pick up more boost. Now when you get a straight line, you boost it, okay? That's when you want to boost it, because look. Now we're going to overcome these cars. I can also draft him. Whoa. So that guy took off. Now my motto of car isn't the best. I could have chosen a much better car to use, but chose this one because i mean why not i'm a jaguar fan we're gonna lose this one okay but that's average what a medium race is like now we're gonna do that again just to show you how it goes i lost because i didn't do it. that race all right so what we do is we start and we draft so you draft first and then you pick up boost and you just take off like a shot okay so i'm gonna pass this lambo here and we are now going to take first place so now just keep the lead, drift, he's on your bumper, keep drifting, keep drifting, he's going to try to knock you out, that ain't going to work, stay straight, look in front of you always, and when you see that corner you drift, you take the drift right to the finish line and we win, so it's basically that simple, drift is a big part of special events, the more you drift, the more money you collect at the end of a race, so yeah, do as much drifting as you can can, especially as you can especially if you are in front if you're in the lead that's something you want to do because you get more money at the end of the race another thing is drafting which i just showed you drafting will bring you to so actually more money than drift you make uh, money faster by drafting cars than drifting but you can't draft a lot because cars are going to take off ahead of you if you draft the whole race right all right so let's go so that was medium let's go with uh, no, that's extreme. So, a hard. Here we go. So, now this is going to be a hard race. We're, oh, yeah. That guy has uh, about 32 more PR than this. So, yeah. This isn't going to be an easy race, but I'm just going to show you how it's done. Again, you draft at the beginning. Watch. So, I get behind him. Look at that. We're drafting. See the money go up. And oncoming as well. You can make money from driving on the wrong side of the road. That's common in car games. They say to drive on the wrong side of the road. Also, if you hit a cop in the back there with boost, 
you take it out and you automatically, I believe, you get $250 per cop. In special events, I think it's $250, yeah. So he's going to win this race and I just crashed into that corner. Okay. Well, it was said that this was going to be a hard race, not an easy one. And you can't always win on the first race. So we're going to lose this one. That's perfectly fine. We'll most likely be taking this next one. All right, let's do it. So I'm the Ford GT 2006. Just to start, you want to always catch up. So oncoming, we're also drafting buddy here. So if I keep drifting here, if I keep drafting him, oncoming, now we passed him. Now it's simple. You drift as much as you can when you're in front. Now he's catching up, so I have to watch the drift a bit. You slow down. Don't do the drift as much because they'll pass you. See how he just passed me? But I get it right back because I'm in a straight line. So, if he tries to cut in front of you, you just, you, you keep going forward. Sorry about that, that's just a notification. So yeah, you just keep going forward. It's that simple. And then, here we go. Okay, so we got a green part. Um, let's collect that gold. So I have 35 gold. Um... Let's try an extreme race, and by extreme, I mean extreme. So this is currently the hardest race in the game, and I've only beat it once. That's how hard it is. Check out this guy's PR count. 985. I'm 951. There is no goddamn way I'm catching up. I did one time, and it's because Buddy crashed into a taxi, so I was lucky. So again... Right at the beginning of the race, you want to draft. Draft as much as you can. And when you get around them, which isn't happening right now. Okay, so here he comes now. You heard that little boost sound. That's him coming. So just keep staying ahead of Buddy here. And again, if you're going full speed, do that quick drift. Okay, so he got by because of that car. And he's probably going to win this race. Like I said, this is not an easy race. This is the hardest race in the game at the moment. So that's okay. We'll give him that win. And it's because there's so many cars coming at us. It's a quick uh, split reaction here. Alright, we lost. That's fine. It's a whole point of getting better, right? I am the Need for Speed Pro, so... Need for Speed Master is what they call me. So let's draft this bitch. And let's get around. So he's catching up real quick. Again, you know what to do. Oh, alright. So he boosted ahead of me. I did not expect that coming so soon. And of course, someone had the text. So let's do this again. Ah, oh, god damn it. I'm starting to run out of fuel here. Can't keep doing this. So here we go. Boost it right off the bat. You want to get traction on this guy, and you don't want to crash into cars like I just did. So again, we're drafting Buddy. Now another thing you can do to fuck this guy's run... And there he goes, right past me. See how fast he goes? There's like no chance. Once he passes you, you're pretty much done. Unless I can cut him here on the drift. Nope, there's a car, and I'm screwed again. Oh well. So extreme races in the events are not this extreme, just so you know. But this is what a top Master Pro extreme race would look like and as you can tell it is not easy at all so we're gonna get out of here we're just gonna accept the loss this time around and let's try to find an easier one here okay so we'll go to chapter 18 let's face darius for the bikani huayra so let's find a car hold on okay so it has to be any of these 
I'm going to go with my lowest one, which is 909. His car is 886. That's okay. Usually on extreme events, your car is faster. However, theirs is lighter and it goes by. It's not always about how fast your car is. It's also the weight. And if yours is lighter, you're definitely going to go speeding by. See? His PR is less, but he's ahead of me. And the reason he's ahead of me is his car is lighter. It's okay. We'll find a way to get back in it. So we drafted him like that. Another thing you can do is be a dirty driver and knock them into a wall. I don't always do that, but when I have to, I will. And he's going to catch up now because the drip. So, he just about got past me. I think I took him down just momentarily. I slowed him down a bit. And that should get us the win here. So, we're going to drift. Get by that car. Near miss. Another drift. And we're home. Alright, let's collect our cash here. 600, or sorry, 6,000. Also, the higher up the mission, the more money or higher quality part you get. Because I'm in like the latest stages of the game. So, it makes sense. Alright, so let's get out of here. And as you can see here, special events. Come back soon, I'll have something special for you. So, that'll be the ninth, I believe they said. So that's when I'll make my next video. Um, but here currently, yeah, that's that's it for this episode. I hope you learn how to do a special event. Oh, also, maybe I should show you a bit more, actually. We aren't done just yet. We still have four. We still have four fields. So let's go to a chapter. Hold on. For instance, let's do this one because I know, yeah, this is Airborne. Okay, so Airborne... You'll see that there's an event called Airtime in the Need for Speed Special Event. So, I'm just going to get my lowest car here. Street. Let's look around. Uh, the 447. Here we go. Nissan Fairlady. 420ZG. There we go. So, it's it's still higher than Darius's BMW. But, hey. That is currently my lowest car. So, we're going to give it a drive. Get a little spin. Get those tires rolling. Here we go. So you drift. Okay. Now, drift is a big part of this, right? Of course. But when you see what's coming up, there's ramps. And for certain Need for Speed uh, special events, it's called airtime. You'll have an event called airtime. And right here, just like this, ramps. You need to get a certain amount of airtime to win that race. You need to get the certain amount of airtime. And if it's a race with other racers, you also have to come first. So that's two objectives to complete in one race. So that's a bit of airtime. There's also a bit of everything. Let me show you. So we're going we're gonna to do airtime again just to give you a little look-see of what we're getting into here. So again, back into airtime. Not going to go as fast this time. Now, also, which is not in this game, well, sorry, not in story mode, you have Nitro Zones. If you don't know what that is, it's the blue lines of, like, white arrows with blue lines. And if you go over that, you pick up boosts, and you quickly get boosts. So, I'm just going to drift. So, basically, in the special, like, very special events, first, It's airtime. So you go airtime, and lastly, it's come first, and also the nitro zone. If there's nitro zone, go over it, get more boost, and race the baby home. And yes, guys, I hope you learned a lot for this episode, because get ready for the next one. It's the new Need for Speed update. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you... And the next one. Bye, guys.